We'll be going outside to embrace the hot weather, but be careful. Health experts are now warning about the potential of tick bites, which can lead to Lyme disease. It's rare in our state, but certainly not impossible. New this morning, reporter Cameron Brewer joins us in the studio after speaking with an infectious disease expert. Good morning, Cameron. Good morning, Josh. Dr. Noe Mateo with Sanford Health says the risk for tick bites is high depending on where you are. He told me in the Midwest there are states considered to be hot spots, and North Dakota is increasingly becoming one. If you're thinking about taking a trip down to the lake, woods, or even a trail, health experts warn there may be ticks swarming the area. There can be a, a bullseye rash, although that's typically only 20% of the time. Usually it's a very nondescript rash. So people notice this at the site of a tick bite, although it's not often that you can see a tick. That tick bite can lead to Lyme disease, which can cause the body further harm. Cardiac disease, disease of the heart, rheumatological disease, joint problems, joint aches, and neurologic disease, meningitis. Mateo says it takes 24 hours for the tick to transmit the disease to the body, but by wearing insect repellent on the skin and clothing is your greatest defense. Concern should always be there. You're going outside. Ticks are very hardy, although they only have a two-year life cycle. Our four-legged friends also are at risk for their predators. It's, a, it's a sort of a host-parasite vector relationship, the host being humans, the vector uh, being um, the uh, ticks and the parasite being the uh, or, or bacteria, all of these uh, play a major role in terms of disease and, and morbidity. So Josh, there are many different kinds of ticks, but the most common ticks that people come across in North Dakota are the dark tick, mm. the lone star, which has a white spot on the back and the mm. deer tick, which carries the Lyme disease. Wow. So, a lot of ticks out there, and you have to be careful, especially going out. Uh, you know, yeah. You want to make sure you, if you are going out, to make sure you go home and check yourself out to make sure you don't have any tick bites. Because yeah, yeah. And you were Man. saying earlier how you've got. Well, yeah. Bites, I right? mean, I was running last week, and uh, even in the morning, I, I was I was back in the. Well, so I take a shower right after I run, but then the next morning, I saw a tick uh, crawling on me. So what I did was I picked it up and I threw it in the. A sink and then wash it down, but it's probably still alive. Oh, yeah. I don't know. These things, they're hard. Did he say how hard they are to kill or ways to kill them? Well, you know, you just want to make sure you get the tweezers and just pull it off. You don't want to get your hand and just rip it off. Um, you know, and if you do have a tick bite yeah. and, and it does result to Lyme disease, you definitely want to get that taken care of and treated because that's when it can lead to other problems. He said that bullseye, you start to see that developing. That could be, that could be the sign.